Okay, I think she turned out very nice. So, so, so tired. January. I just made myself a cup of coffee. I made myself an espresso and honestly I haven't had an espresso pot in a while like a regular espresso pot in a while. Usually I have double shots and I make an Americano. I kind of miss this and now I'm on the Nespresso website trying to figure out if I can get same day delivery for a couple of pods or maybe I should just go to the mall and get some because I work at five today so I do have a little bit of time on my hands. But anyways I wanted to vlog a couple of productive healthy good fun days in my life i have a couple of goals and intentions that i want to set for this week if you watched my last vlog you know that yesterday i was not feeling life at all i was just quite frankly down in the dumps and i'm not gonna lie today i woke up feeling so much better it's amazing what a good night of rest will do for you and a fresh day a fresh mindset sometimes it's not a bad life it's just a bad night or a bad day or a bad situation or a bad circumstance and you just need to push through it and restart I genuinely feel so much better. Anyways, it's 7. I did sleep until 6 this morning. I woke up at 5 and then I set my alarm to 5.45. <laughs> I'm about to actually, I'm going to make myself a big thing of water so that I'm hydrated. What I'm going to do my um, Keon Aminos. These are amazing to have, especially for recovery or if you're somebody who works out consistently. I like to have them in the mornings honestly just because that way i feel like it's a great way to get my water in i'm hydrated uh you can have them like 30 minutes before a workout after a workout i also like to drink them after the sauna as well just personal preference honestly i don't really think it matters if you you know have them first thing in the morning like i do which i occasionally do anyways i'm going to make this I have a coaching call in an hour. I have a video that I'm about to get some editing done on. I have some writing that I need to do. I have a project that I'm working on and I need to study for my NASA. I don't think that I will leave the house today very much at all other than to go to the gym and I have work at five and we'll see if Nespresso can deliver. If not, I'll just hold off on it. Ideally, I would have loved to go to Costco today, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be raining all day today. I think I might save Costco for tomorrow. I really wanna go and get a Costco membership and get a couple of essentials that I need, like water, protein, things of that nature. But if it's raining all day today, I don't feel like going. Anyways. Got my coffee, got my water. Let's go to my computer. Let's light some candles. Let's set the Yule log or something cozy on the TV and let's just have a really productive morning. <laughs> to the gym 
a little bit later than I thought that I would be going, but it's 11. I uh, did like the majority of everything that I needed to do for my YouTube video, but I need to do like a final cut edit or a final edit and add some music to it, create a thumbnail. I'm gonna do that today, 100%. This video is going live tonight. It is going live tonight. I had my coaching call. I actually had a brand reach out to me. We're working together. So I filmed a video for them this morning and I edited it, edited it, submitted it, created a voiceover and everything. So now I'm just waiting for them to like review and tell me their feedback and whatnot, which I'm kind of worried about because, you know, when you edit a video and you make a voiceover for it, it's hard to make changes when it's already filmed, if that makes sense. So we'll see, I hope that it's good. I did a couple of voiceovers for some short form content and I edited a few of them as well. Didn't do any writing, didn't work on my project, didn't do any of my studying because I am ashamed to admit that I got caught into an argument on YouTube. Somebody commented something on my one of my videos, like my new short that went live this morning. I just got like, totally sucked in and they were telling me that i'm gonna like lose my period for the way that i'm eating and that i'm unhealthy and that i'm basically screwed up for promoting my lifestyle and this and that and it just bothered me <laughs> i mean i get very few comments on my videos and whenever i do get like a hate comment i'm always i never let it get to me i'm always just like yeah you're right i am starving myself because i know that i'm not and I know myself, I know my diet, I know my health, like I know enough about health and wellness to know that these people don't know what they're talking about whenever they do hate on me and everybody has their own opinion when it comes to this stuff, but I never let it get to me. But this person just like went off the rails and just like kept hitting just kept going and i had a couple of really genuine and kind people come to my defense which i thought was incredible i've never had that before i've never had that kind of support before especially from people online like i'm baffled i'm mind blown if you're watching right now i appreciate you so much for coming to my defense you just saw people commenting on my video somebody commenting on my video and you come and say like hey like lay off of her like don't judge her she's doing like fine like I just thought that was literally the nicest thing that anybody's ever done for me. Like, I'm mind blown at the kindness. When people say that they get hate online, I'm always like, really? Like, do people really just sit there and hate on people for no reason? Like, do they not have anything better to do with their lives? Case in point, apparently they don't. And yeah, so I feel like I wasted some time on that. If you were one of the people that came to my defense, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I just... Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That was so, so kind of you. We're not gonna let that stuff get to us because it's a waste of our time. People are gonna say what they're gonna say and you can either stoop to their level and let it get to you or you can rise above them and move forward because at the end of the day, you know that you're doing a good job. You know that you're healthy. You know that you're taking care of yourself. And it's funny because this person was literally saying, you're gonna lose your period. And I'm over here with a heating pad on my abdomen because I'm on my period right now. TMI, but that's that. We're gonna go to the gym right now and we're gonna have a killer push day workout. Workout is going to be fueled by Celsius today because I am not used to having later workouts, but I love, 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 love having later workouts because I feel like it allows me to be productive first thing in the morning, which I love. Like I love being able to work on my projects first thing in the morning and the gym for me is a lot easier to do than work on my side hustles. It's a lot easier for me to work out than write. It's a lot easier for me to work out than edit a video, honestly, because I get so judgmental. I get so critical of myself. That's why I've been trying to push these workouts, but I can't always because a lot of times I have work in the afternoon like or like early morning. Just made it to the gym, 11.30. It is dumping rain and I don't wanna go outside. I don't like it. I just don't want to. I just, oh, I wanna go to the gym. I wanna work out. I'm so excited to do that. But this weather, it's just gross. I hate like my jacket being wet and I hate it being on my head and I just don't like rain. I can't stand rain. I need like a song to pump me up for my workout. I don't know what song is gonna get, get me pumped up. Oh no, I think I know. This? No. Hold on. Hold on. This is good. But 
This one. We're gonna finish this. I love this song. I hope I don't get copyrighted. I'm going to stop by Starbucks. Uh, I want a big fat pike coffee. Then we're gonna head home. We're gonna eat something super quick. And I still need to finish editing my YouTube video before going to work. So I'm driving now, so I will talk to you later. I forgot to buy foil again, which is really annoying because I really like putting my Japanese sweet potato in foil. I feel like it makes it better. I don't know if that's true or not, but to me it feels true. Let's make our protein shake. I think I'm gonna do the vanilla today. Vanilla, make my like little snickerdoodle version of it because um, I'm gonna have like a chocolatey protein bar. Sometimes when I do no cardio at the gym, I feel so weird. I'm like, did I even work out? But, oh no, I need milk. Oh my gosh, that's so frustrating. I mean, like I have, it's fine, right? Yeah, I have enough, but like, I really wanted to have some cereal later, but I don't have enough. Anyways, what I was gonna say is, sometimes when I don't do cardio at the gym, I feel like I didn't, I'm like, did I even work out? Of course I did, I did my weight training session, but I love cardio, for me it's literally therapy. Last week, have been cutting my cardio or starting last week i started cutting my cardio putting some salt because i'm obviously doing 75 hard and on top of that i've also been going to the sauna i don't you know what maybe i'll go into the sauna tonight if if, if the gym if the ymca is not closed by the time i get off work because i didn't go yesterday because it closed at freaking five but yeah so i cut my cardio to only two times per week that's not including the weekend. Like I did go and do cardio yesterday at Gold's, but that's only, that was, that was it. Like I didn't do any weight training. But anyways, I did stairs twice last week and I'm going to continue that because I feel really like, I don't want to overdo it obviously, but it's just weird because like I said, I genuinely love cardio therapy it's my time to read it's my time to like watch youtube videos and just like enjoy myself i know that sounds weird probably but hey it is what it is but i had a great weight training session i went up in quite a few things so that's good as always filming a what i eat in a day video let's try this bad boy i bet it's gonna be so good oh my gosh it's so good i'm also having a banana I have an obsession with bananas. I just made my little liner. I'm wearing my pajamas because I just showered, but I realized I should have made two Japanese sweet potatoes. This one is so small. Anyways, let me show you it. Yum, 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 yum. I'm so excited to eat. I've had this comment before that and my meals are really boring but throughout the week honestly i eat for functional purposes like this is delicious to me i'm not over here like thinking like oh how can i make this meal the most beautiful meal or like to me food is for two purposes fuel pleasure you can't eat for pleasure every single day especially if you train the way that i do especially if you wake up as early as i do especially if you are trying to be like on top of your shit. like i just don't think you can eat for pleasure and be on top of everything. I would love to eat for pleasure all the time, but quite frankly, this brings me a lot of pleasure. I love Japanese sweet potatoes. I love avocado. I love ground meat. I think that I used to have that mindset where like, no, like eating this way is gonna be really boring. I don't wanna eat like that. I don't wanna restrict myself. But like over time, this has become my food of choice like this is what like eating this makes me feel good i love this food but i also love pizza and burgers and steak like other things and pasta like i have all of those things but i have them in moderation and i have them i save them for weekends and 
whenever I go out because I'm not gonna cook an extravagant meal like that at home. I don't know. This is just what works for me. Do what works for you. Anyways, I'm gonna get a little bit of work done before I go to work. I kind of had something happen that really like put me in a bad, not a bad mood, but just like shifted my energy. So I'm gonna try to like sit with myself and eat and meditate for a little bit. I'm gonna eat this while it's hot. Since I'm not gonna be, I'm listening to something. Um, since I'm not gonna be eating after work, I made myself dessert. It's a yogurt bowl with some cereal since I'm out of milk essentially. I'm having some of this dark chocolate and the ciggies. It's delicious. This is delicious. I'm gonna tell you why I was upset later because now I have to get ready for work. So I have to finish this. So I'll see you after work. Hello, it is 11.46. I just came home from work. I ended up closing tonight, which I wasn't supposed to close, but it was super slow, so they ended up calling somebody off, and I ended up being one of the closers, which is 100% fine with me because I ended up making more money, so that was nice. I did not get a chance to finish the work that I wanted to finish. I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow morning, get that done. I'm going to have a pretty much the same schedule tomorrow as I did today. Wake up earlier today or tomorrow morning though. And I have a coaching call. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm praying, fingers crossed, that the weather changes and it does not rain all day tomorrow like it did today. So that way I could have time to go and be, a little, be like outdoors a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna make my sleepy drink and go to bed. So, I'll see you in the morning. First, all the time, the whole tenth of your income into the store now. Do we like? Really wanted new aviators, and I actually really like these. Gorgeous. Good morning, it is Tuesday and I'm so, so, so tired. I feel like I haven't been this tired in a really long time. I always think that I will be 100% fine when I go to bed at one and wake up at five. I woke up at six again and it just, it does not, it does not work. And for whatever reason, I am supposed to be done with my period. It's day four or day five, day four. And yet I'm feeling bloated today and crampy today so I'm just tired and and I know that it's not for whatever reason it's because I'm tired and I did not sleep well today will be a rough day and I hate saying that but it's better to just like acknowledge that today's just gonna be a little bit of a challenge rather than being like oh what's wrong what's wrong like why am I in a shitty mood it's like you just didn't sleep well calm calm down or more like you didn't sleep enough I'm going to light up some candles. I have a coaching call well, in about an hour. This is going to bother me. The scent is going to bother me. It's rosé. It smells wonderful, but it's going to bother me. Or rose. I want to go to TJ Maxx, and I have a very specific candle that I want to buy there. And it's this, like, chamomile one that's very relaxing. And that is just what I want right now. I feel like my brain needs relaxation. I feel drunk. I feel like I am hung over and it's 100% normal to feel this way when you don't get enough sleep. There are like so many studies done that say that when you don't get enough sleep it's worse than a hangover. It's I think it's eucalyptus and chamomile. That's the candle that I want to get. But anyways, I have a little bit of this one left which you cannot see but it is eucalyptus and mint. So I'm just gonna set this up here. I'm just brewing a pot of coffee. I'm gonna meditate and then I'm gonna get to work and try to be as productive as possible. I'm gonna put my phone away because I've noticed how unproductive I have been due to this stupid freaking incredible device. I have so much stuff that I need to do. I'm so like annoyed with the weather because it's preventing me from doing everything that I need to do. I really need to go to Costco because I have like nothing. Like I have zero protein. I have some chicken meatballs left that I will, I'm planning on eating today. But outside of that, I just have some leftover meat from yesterday that I'll be eating as well. And then I'm done for. So I really need protein. I have zero water. I have like five, six, seven ounces of water left. And I refuse to drink tap water. We are not tap water girlies around here. I have zero milk. I have like a splash of milk. I have like a splash of everything, I feel like. I have one avocado. 
three bananas, one lemon. Mm. Almost out of my yogurt. What else do I need to do today? I need new work pants ASAP. I need to go to H&M and pick up some new work pants. I have a to-do list that I should look at and write. I have to go to the gym. I haven't been to the sauna in like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days. I need to go on my walk today. Today's day 33 of 75 hard, which is insane. Let's pour our coffee, pour my water, and meditate. Definitely need to recenter ourselves. And I'm actually gonna heat this up because I think it'll be beneficial for my abdomen. When you're menstruating, when you're on your period, the best things to consume are warm foods because you wanna keep your womb warm and cozy and comforted, so. So together. Okay, so I have my coaching call in six minutes. This is so funny. So I meditated, feeling a little bit, a little bit better, a little bit breezy, breezier, breezier, breezier. Anyways, I meditated and then I sat down to start editing my video, and I asked Siri to set an alarm or a timer for 25 minutes. And before I know it, 30 minutes have gone by and she has not stopped me during my work. Now, um, I don't know if that was because she realized that I was in flow state or what. I don't think it was that. I don't know what. It's like the one time that I finally use a timer. Of course it doesn't work. But anyways, I feel like I made good progress on this video and I'm so 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 frustrated for getting behind again. It's because of it's because I multitask. I try to like do four or five different things in one day and I never bring one project to full completion because I keep switching tasks over and I think that is one of my biggest problems. I'll start editing a video and then I'm like, no, I need to write and then I start writing and then I'm like, oh, I need to do X, Y, and Z and then I start doing X, Y, and Z and then I'm like, wait a second, did I throw in that laundry? And I start doing laundry and then I'm like, wait, my video. So then I start editing my video and then I'm like, wait a second, I need to post a short form video. So then I start uh, editing a short form video and then I'm like, wait a second, I was just writing and then laundry and then, oh my gosh, I'm hungry. And then, oh, oh my gosh, I need to go to the gym. So like that is literally how my day goes. And by the end of the day, I'm like, I literally got nothing done. I didn't get to a hundred on anything. I just got to like 50 or 40 or 30 or 70 and 60 and 50. I'm just so frustrated with myself. So I'm hoping that by utilizing the Pomodoro technique that it actually benefits me because I'll be investing 30, 60, 90, 120 minutes into every single bucket, like a dedicated amount of time as opposed to five minutes here, 10 minutes there, 15 minutes there, 10 minutes there. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Anyways, dedicated about 30 minutes to editing this video just now, and now I'm gonna hop on my coaching call. While I'm on my coaching call, I'm going to make myself a quick breakfast, so that way I could eat and the food could digest, so that way I could go to the gym after. Now, I've started writing a little to-do list of the things that I would like to accomplish today slash tomorrow because i keep getting these thoughts in my head of like of all of the stuff that i want to do of all the things that i need to do of all the things that i need to buy i really would love to go to costco and get a membership there and buy things that i need but if i don't have time for that then i need to go to whole foods did i say costco yeah costco but if i can't then i need to go to whole foods because like i said i'm out of water um i need to stop by the gas station get an energy drink and some water because i'm out of water i'm so tired of running out of water i have like a couple of short form pieces of content that i need to edit that need to go live like asap because i've been they're outdated <laughs> my goal is to i have like so i started i've been writing i've been documenting 75 hard on medium i stopped on like day 18 or day 17 and the, and like i continued writing them but they, they're all drafts because they need to be edited and i'm on day what 33 i have so many things that i need to edit and i really just want to dedicate do you utilize the pomodoro effect effect technique and 
batch edit everything and then just schedule them all out and the same situation with my youtube videos because i'm so behind and i have so much content that needs to go out and i just feel like if all of this content goes out i'm gonna feel so much more at ease and at peace and i have such great videos like i have a period a video on periods and like tracking your cycle and like all the stuff that i'm just like itching to put out there and i have so many articles that i want to write and i want to go to the sauna are we okay I'm hungry so my coaching call is in 30 seconds let's go make food and hop on the coaching call and um finish this to-do list if i could just have another me like a twin but like a robot twin so that i could tell them what to do that'd be wonderful also speaking of twin robot telling them what to do i really want to get my pinterest in order so that i can start what does pinterest have to do with anything pinterest Pinterest. Let's go make food. I'm gonna make myself oatmeal again because I'm craving something oat oatsy, cozy, and bone bone broth. So let's go do that. This oatmeal bowl is so good. I'm in shock. You need to recreate it. This is insane. This is like the best. I'm I'm on top of my oatmeal game lately. For the last two days at least. Jean should do that, so I'm curious why do you see that? I'm getting ready to go to the gym right now. I charged up my laptop because I used to love working from home and I still 100% do, but I find that I'm consistently getting distracted by house stuff. Like I legitimately want to do laundry right now. And I know that's just procrastination at its finest, but I cannot keep doing this to myself. So I just finally, finally, finally finished editing my YouTube video and I uploaded it. I'm literally a month freaking behind. This is absolutely disgusting. I think that if I get done with the gym at a reasonable hour, I'm going to drive over to a coffee shop and get like an hour of studying done for my NASM. That's what I'll do and then I'll go and get some groceries. I just need like milk and some yogurt and some ketchup. Oh my gosh, if I forget ketchup, I will literally die because I can't eat anything without ketchup. I need pro I need catch up with everything that i consume okay so um i don't know if i'll go to costco today i genuinely don't know i'm i feel like i don't want to leave it for i don't want to go in the morning time i would rather go in the evening so i'm not like rushed because i don't know how long it's going to take for me to get a membership and like all of that stuff anyway so i'm just gonna bring my stuff with me just in case let me just chat with you after i'm ready for the gym i'm trying really hard to not just tell you what i'm doing but also show you which is why i pulled the camera out right now but packed a whole bunch of stuff mm -hmm. what, what episode is it it's black show so thank you guys appreciate it um how cute is this top i i got this like last year i think it's from lululemon and it has like a weird stain here which i don't remember what it's from but i'm a fan i feel like it's very february <sighs> yeah let's go work out i'm just gonna put some earrings on i love these are like my staple can you see that my staple earrings i love them so much i feel like they're like so subtle and honestly i think i need to get another pair just in case i ever lose these because i've lost one twice well lost i mean it miraculously showed up on my floor but still what if i like lose it at work or something or at the gym you know when i'm like taking my sweater off or whatever anyways great let's put some 
body spray on. I love right, this one. It's my favorite. It smells so like beachy. It has a little hint of vanilla in it as well. And I noticed that they came out with a new one. It's like purple. And I think I want to buy that. I smelled it, but I like, you know, when you spray a perfume and it's too alcoholy at first, that's all I smelled initially. So we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to put some. Um, summer Fridays because my skin is feeling a little dry. Okay, I'm ready to go to the gym. Ready for a, a nice pull day. I think I'm going to stop by the gas station on the way there. Pick up some Celsius. I have one in my fridge now, but I really want the mango passion fruit one because I haven't had that one in so freaking long. So we're going to stop by and get that. Apologies for this angle, but I am driving. <laughs> I just stopped by the gas station and I picked up nine Celsius's. Am I okay? Nine Celsius. Okay, in my defense, they were having a deal. It was like three, four, three something or four something. I don't know. Maybe it was five something because my total was like 25 bucks, but I also did get a water. Anyways, the point, no, I think I got more than nine. I don't know. I just got a ton of Celsius's and I'm so freaking happy because not only did I get my favorite mango passion fruit flavor, I got three of those. At least I hope I got, yeah, I did get three of those. I also was able to find their sparkling water, not water, sparkling green apple cherry one that I am absolutely obsessed with. I love, love, love that one. The other day, it was like a week or two ago at work, the Celsius girls were walking around handing out free Celsius's and I asked her for some and she ended up giving me two big cases and she gave me the sparkling sparkling green apple cherry like a, con a huge case of that and also uh, the wild berries one and I actually like the berries one that one was pretty good and I was surprised because typically I feel like berry flavored stuff always tastes like medicine to me at least but it was good Anyways, the apple one, the green apple one was freaking phenomenal, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere until today. I should fix that mirror. Anyways, so I got a ton of those and then, and then there was a new flavor. It's like sparkling strawberry watermelon galaxy, which I've never seen before. And I got two of them, which I feel like is kind of dangerous because why, do, why would I get two of a flavor I've never had before, you know? But we are being wild today, clearly, and um, we're just trying new things. So I'm excited to try it out, and I wanted to vlog my feelings towards the new Celsius flavor. So we'll taste test it together once I get to the gym, which I am about to park. So give me two seconds. All right, so... The new flavor is Galaxy Vibe Sparkling Strawberry Watermelon Edition. This better be good. Better be good. I just drove around to the first parking lot because I was like, it shouldn't be that packed today. Like, I think it'll be fine. But I've been avoiding that area because it's literally like a, a swamp. Like, the parking lot is so bad. And this guy is pulling out and he, and I need to turn in. And he is trying to come this way when he should technically just go left. Like, you don't need to, like, whatever. He should have, I'm being rude right now, aren't I? Saying that he should have done this, this, and that. Anyways, the point is, is that he wouldn't let me go. So I had to go out of my way, make an entire, like, drive all over the area. Drive, like, make this huge circle. All because he was being stubborn and wouldn't turn left. He was, like, motioning for me to turn into the parking lot when there was zero room for me to turn into the parking lot. And then when I made my big ass U-turn or U like circle, he was where he could have been had he just gone left. That made no sense to you probably, but anyways, he was being very frustrating. People in LA are so frustrating when it comes to driving. They don't know how to drive. Anyways, let's taste this, this. But I ended up getting a pristine spot, so I feel like that was God looking out for me. Let's taste test this. <clears throat> mm. it's not bad it's not bad at all I'd give it like a 7.5 or to an 8 mm. 
7.5. I would not get this again. It's good, but I always forget that I don't like strawberry flavored stuff. Kind of reminds me of the strawberry guava. Okay, let's go work out. just finished up at the coffee shop and uh, I'm just trying to turn this heater on because it is freezing. Okay, I just finished up at Groundworks. I was not even there for as long as I wanted to be there for, but I did finish my quiz, which I really wanted to do. I've been putting that quiz off, honestly, because I am like very, very, like a very nervous test taker i just don't do well with testing i just feel like i forget absolutely everything i've learned like i will i i don't even know my name when it comes to taking a test um but i went there and i was looking forward to just like sitting there and getting my work done and taking my test and whatnot and it was freezing like it was actually legitimately unbelievably cold and i got a coffee obviously i got a little cappuccino which was delicious and is delicious and i still have a little bit left but it just like was not keeping me warm and it was like that kind of cold where you're just like uncomfortable and all you can think about is how cold it is and how uncomfortable you are so i finished my quiz and i got i mean i'm sure that this is not gonna sound like anything spectacular to anybody but i did get 100 percent on my first go which was awesome especially for me because like i said i'm a very nervous test taker i only looked at my notes twice and it was for two like very specific things but i already had an idea of what the answer was going to be before i even looked at my notes and i was i was right for one of them so yeah but um yeah it was just like a very uncomfortable situation of being in that coffee shop and i got annoyed because i mentioned that i love going or like i mentioned that i wanted to go to the coffee shop in the first place because i felt very distracted at home because i kept getting distracted by like laundry and like all of the stuff and I get to the coffee shop and I'm like, oh, they're playing good music. There's literally nobody there but the barista and the cashier or whatever and the employees. And I'm like, this is going to be so nice. I'm literally like zero distractions, which it's not that I get distracted when people are there. I don't, but I just felt like it was going to be a vibe, you know, it was like going to be a very productive <laughs> environment. And then the freaking barista starts singing and I swear to God, he was doing it on purpose. He was like being obnoxiously loud and he wasn't like singing like in good pitch or whatever. He was just like singing terribly. And I was like, I think that they're trying to kick me out honestly so that they could close early or something. So I was like, all right, I'm starting a new chapter on in my like NASA in my course work i finished the quiz i'm just gonna go and get some more work done at home i just pulled up to whole foods i need to get water ketchup i'm gonna get a rotisserie chicken i think or something to eat so that i don't have to cook at home because i genuinely need this time to focus on my work and yeah like we need to take a shortcut with food for the next foreseeable future so i'm gonna park i'm waiting to park it is packed which is weird because it's like, it's kind of weird that it's so packed. Anyways, I will probably catch you when I get home, so. Is this not the most pristine parking spot ever? I'm literally right up at the front. This is amazing. I'm blessed. Okay, so I uh, ended up getting more than... I needed at Whole Foods. So now we're gonna have to put off Costco. In my defense, these are all specialty items that I can't even get at Costco. Okay, I wanted to get a rotisserie chicken and they have canola oil. I'm not gonna put that in my body. Absolutely not. <laughs> it said organic canola oil. I don't care how organic you are. I'm not putting canola oil in my body. That is absolutely ridiculous. I don't understand why Whole Foods is promoting canola oil. 
Secondly, I don't understand why they were out of the larger 16 pack. Like, why? I, a dozen is not going to last me. I am... I'm annoyed like there are a lot of things that are on my mind that have been pissing me off I feel like I need to share them, but I don't have time. I genuinely don't because it's 3 13 I need to get my second workout of the day done and it's dumping rain That means I'm gonna have to walk in the rain and I need to go right now because I still need to eat shower and Do my laundry because my work shirt needs to be washed one of them. I got hazelnuts because I am going to make something delicious with hazelnuts, foil, I needed foil, finally. Coconut water, this is my favorite coconut water. Ketchup, because I'm out of ketchup. I got this original buffalo sauce by Primal Kitchen with avocado oil, great ingredients. I wanna make wings with this, plus today this was on sale, so I think originally it's like eight or nine bucks, I got it for four. So I was like, I have to pick it up. Got some blueberries, the sweetest batch ones, they're the best, they're so, Oh my god. These are the best. My favorite milk. Yum. Azevia. Black cherry. I guess they changed their cover because they used to look different. I got a little toasted coconut. Volcanic uh, premium cold brew coffee. I'm so excited to try this. You guys know I love anything coconut. And then I got Siggy's vanilla yogurt. They didn't have like the lower sugar one that I've been getting. And I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna get that. Okay, I didn't get as much water as I needed. I only got one gallon because it was dumping rain when I left Whole Foods. And I was like, I can't, like, I'm not gonna get a car. It, it was raining when I went in there, but then it was dumping rain when I was leaving. Amy Lou Chicken Meatballs, these were on sale. And I love, love, love these. Such a great and easy way to get some protein in. Got some bananas as always. I got some dates because this is gonna be with this. I'm gonna make like a little dessert and I forgot to get cacao, which I need to get. I got myself an elderberry zinc health shot. This was on sale, but also I got this because I've been, I feel like I, all I've been doing is being outside in the rain. My Nespresso pods are here. I'm so excited. Okay, and then I just got three more Japanese sweet potatoes. I'm gonna clean all of this up put my older Japanese sweet potatoes into the air fryer so that they're ready for me when I come home. Okay, I've literally got to run, but here is my liner. I've got leftover ground beef, Japanese sweet potato, half an avocado, and I might, I don't know, I don't know if I'll snack on it. I'm gonna have a protein shake because this is not enough protein for me, so I'm definitely gonna have a protein shake before I leave as well. Looks so good. I'm listening to a really good podcast right now, Skinny Confidential. I am back. It's 11.40. I'm so tired. I could just pass out right here and right now. I, whoa, I almost threw away my headphones. I meant to throw away this. I am about to make some of my Kion. It's very cold outside, so I'm sniffly. It's very cold, actually. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm gonna make my Kion. I can't even talk. My eyes are burning because my contacts are so dry. I'm gonna make my little sleepy drink right now. Hop in the shower and go straight to bed because I have to be up in like five hours tomorrow. I have a coaching call at eight, I think. And tomorrow's coaching call is gonna be really, really good. I mean, they've all been great, but this one in particular, I've been looking forward to it and it's at eight. I open tomorrow. So I work at 11, but I need to go to the gym before my eight o'clock coaching call because I know it's gonna go over. That means I have to go to the gym by six. So that gives me about an hour and a half-ish to work out. Plus, I really need to stop by the grocery store tomorrow because I'm gonna make dinner tomorrow night. I'm just rambling at this point. Anyways, let's make our drink and let's go shower and let's get our butts into bed then after my first workout laser and i because i'm kind of in a time crunch at this point but i got so many so i hope that i taste like dark. good morning and happy wednesday it is so cold in this apartment it's 6 18 i woke up at 5 30 and honestly i'm so proud of myself because normally i would have snoozed till six 
especially because I went to bed late. I went to bed probably by like 12 20. I had a rough time. I was trying to okay, so for the last couple of nights, maybe like almost I don't remember, but for the last couple of nights, basically, I've been going to sleep to a specific meditation every single night. And last night, I tried a different one. Mm -mm. Was not working. Was not working. And I was just, like, laying there forcing myself to listen to it. And then I'm like, Dana, why on earth are you forcing yourself to listen to it? Just move on. Go to the one that you always listen to. Anyways, the one that I always listen to is Deep Restful Sleep by Melissa Wood Health. I use her app. I love it. I love, love, love it. I feel like it just relaxes me, puts me in like a good mindset, and her voice is really soothing. Anyways, I just got ready for the gym. It's 6.20. I'm gonna have a Celsius. We are going to, honestly, like, we're gonna need a couple of these today because running off this little sleep for the last two nights in a row, not ideal but it is what it is and i'm excited for today today is going to be such a great day despite the lack of energy but cheers let's go to the gym let's get this push day out of the way come back home got our coaching call have food clean up the house a bit go to work it's going to be a great day and of course 100 percent, i need to work today like i need to sit down and get some editing done i need to get some writing done i need oh my god the amount of writing that i need to do Let's go. with my second workout of the day. I actually got done with so much stuff today. I feel like I went to the gym. I came home from my coaching call. I had breakfast. I cleaned a little bit. Like I still need to, I vacuumed everywhere and I did the dishwasher or dishes. I still need to like do a surface level clean, but that's fine. And I just did my second workout of the day, which was a nice brisk walk. And I went to the pier and it was beautiful. Like oh it's such a beautiful beautiful day and it makes me so happy when the sun is out like instant mood booster i could have slept for only one hour instead of the five or whatever that i got and i would still be happy because of how beautiful it is outside so it's 10 30 right now so i'm in a huge time crunch i'm gonna make myself another cup of coffee and then i'm out the door or i need to shower i'm gonna quickly hop in the shower Put my work clothes on and then we are out the door and we're going to work to open up. And I'm going to listen to a nice podcast while I'm there because I feel like today, for whatever reason, I really don't feel like opening, like doing all of the opening stuff. So I feel like I need a little boost of energy, which the coffee and the podcast will provide me with. Wellness things, like Michael said, does stopping negative and want to improve themselves, and so you really have no loss. I did to go out and do the thing, and then you get that one EOR in the back that ruins the night. So, 
so if you don't know i have always been very into running like i've always always enjoyed it but i've stopped running like for a while and then i think last week i think it was last week for my second workout of the day i went on a long run but on the like boardwalk i ran six miles and then that following Saturday, I did a Murph and I ran two miles, like except one at the start, one at the end. And my second mile was seven, seven minutes and 40 seconds. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm a professional runner. I'm an athlete. I want to get back into running. So I checked out my girl, Laura Mahachek's channel because she just ran the New York City Marathon or she ran it like a couple of months ago, I think. And she had these shorts on her Amazon as well as this running belt and I of course purchased it and one I didn't even know that these kinds of things existed like who knew I did not know that there was such a thing as a running belt I've just been using like I always wore that arm thing for for your phone and it's like so annoying because I'd literally like be tapping like next please um this is like this is amazing I'm I love this these shorts though are incredible because they have like they have like the attached underwear but it actually covers your entire butt unlike some of them where it's like half so your butt ends up looking ridiculous and it looks like you have like underwear lines or whatever so these shorts are literally perfection they're such a nice and like like a perfectly modest length for running because you don't want your running shorts to get to be too short because then it's like uncomfortable when you run and you'll chafe but you also don't want them to be like they're just perfect and they sit so well along the waist i love them i'm getting them in another color i'm gonna get them in gray i think as well so i'm obsessed i am always very anti-buying anything from amazon like clothing wise especially well not no i buy everything from amazon but clothing i don't like but these these are very, very nice. And they were only 20 bucks. I'm so happy right now. I love, we love. Okay, I don't have time to make coffee, but thankfully, thankfully, I have this from yesterday when I bought it. So I'm really excited to try it out. Hopefully I don't need to like put it over ice and mix it with milk, but let's, let's give it a taste test. Oh my, oh my gosh. That is so good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add, it would be so good with cream. I'm gonna add a splash of milk into this and then I'm leaving. Mm. That is delicious. You can honestly taste the freaking coconut in it, which I feel like is always my problem with these like quote unquote flavored um, cold brews or just coffees in general that are like healthy they say you know oh i am vanilla and then you try it and you're like where is the vanilla i don't taste any vanilla in here i think i'll do a little bit more oh my gosh this is gonna be so good i wish i could shake it but i'm just gonna oh we're fine okay let's try it with the milk oh my gosh this is so good mm -hmm. i'm off i shall see you to work hello i just came back from work it's actually 3 55 right now and i got done at three i stopped by h&m because i really needed new work pants because mine are wrecked so i picked those up and i got like a cute little hair clip i just tidied up the kitchen and i also stopped by verve got a little cold brew with a little bit of cream i had a banana i had a date and i had a beef stick just a couple of snacks I'm about to go to the home gym and get my cardio done because I think I mentioned in this vlog that I'm doing two to three days of cardio per week and I haven't had a chance to get any cardio done this week and it's already Wednesday so I figure I have some time on my hands right now I'm gonna go and get it done and then I'm gonna drive over to Whole Foods to pick up some water some ground beef bison maybe like goat cheese some kind of cheese because I want to make some meatballs tonight for dinner um, but anyways, just a couple of things that I need to get. Most important is water because this is all I have left. 
so I'll do that. I am in a bit of a time crunch now because I've been taking my sweet time. So anyways, gonna check in with you after. This was actually really good. I just added some cinnamon to it. I want to try to stay up today and get some more work done. Mm. So anyways, I'll see you soon. I am so dead. I tried to keep my heart rate up throughout this cardio session and I'm tired, <sighs> but we did it. I just did cardio, I'm recording on my phone. Oh, I'm like so sweaty and gross and I have to put the sweater on. Anyways, I just did the cardio and I ended up doing 10 chin-ups. I keep calling them pull-ups, they're chin-ups. But I did 10 in a row, which, okay, like I knew that I could do that because on Saturday I did a Murph and I did 10 um, chin-ups 10 times. I did, a no, I did five five sets of 10 chin-ups but like I don't know it was just like maybe I maybe it was maybe I had like an adrenaline rush or something like that but like I just did them again and I did them all like in a row and it was pretty sick like I don't I'm so like proud of how like why am I struggling I'm so proud of how strong I've gotten it's insane I can't put the sweater on okay I literally need to go because I need to go to Whole Foods immediately. I need to cook dinner and get myself presentable. <sighs> okay, I love this sweater so much. It's not even mine, but it's mine now. <laughs> Let's go to Whole Foods. I'm gonna drive to a different one today instead of my usual one because this one is closer. So, yeah, plus I really hope that they have bison. Ugh. All right, let's skedaddle. I just, I went to Whole Foods. I got, I was supposed to get wings. They literally did not have wings, which is so ridiculous. How do you not have wings? But uh, let me show you what I did get. I have already started cooking. I just showered, got myself together because I literally thought that I didn't have time, but we're fine. So instead of having wings, I'm gonna make like a little cheese, meat and cheese board situation. But for dinner dinner, we're gonna do meatballs. And I'm trying like a new recipe out that I kind of like thought of in my head. So we're gonna do meatballs with some bone broth rice or some rice cooked in bone broth and i was gonna make brownies but honestly i am not in the mood to bake on top of like rushing to get ready like i literally dicened up my hair right now and i'm so glad that it doesn't look disgusting um i don't know i just felt like i was rushing through everything so let me show you and i feel like why on earth am I wearing a white top when I'm cooking? Like, I, it's a miracle that I didn't get dirty. Anyways, let me show you what I got. I got two things of sardines. I figured I don't want to make any more trips to Whole Foods. <laughs> I got this Siggy's. I got the vanilla one, which I have not tried before. So let's try it together. Ooh, that's pretty good. I think I like the raspberry one better though. It's very um. Oh, that's why. Well, I don't know. The raspberry one still tastes thicker to me. I promise I'm okay. What the heck? Where's my drink? Uno momento. So. We got this drink from Air One a couple of days ago, if you watched my last vlog, but it's a fork and it's like 
It's supposed to relax you. Sparkling mood and mind boosting beverage. It's so good. I need to like chill out. I feel very antsy. Hey Alexa, play wine and cigarettes playlist. Wine and cigarettes from Spotify. I got two things of bison and I made the meatballs with one of them. I also got a vitamin water for myself. I just feel very anxious right now. I don't know why, but I'm very like... Ugh. Okay, I got two things of chocolate, sea salt, and coconut. Blackberries for the bowl, the little meat and cheese situation, and a watermelon. I'm going to prep this and these. And here's the meat. I feel like I'm being so awkward right now. I got a nectarine and an apple for the board as well, and some goat cheese. Drunken goat cheese. I'm gonna prep this right now, and I'll show you how I set it up, and I'm gonna listen to some music and chill out for a little bit because I feel very anxious. Okay, I think she turned out very nice. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for a little bit. Good morning. I'm having a very, very not Diana kind of day today, which is so weird, but it is what it is. I woke up and I headed straight to my desk to get work done this morning. I woke up at 5, or I set my alarm to 5, but then I slept in until 5.25. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm so frustrated because I spent the entire morning writing and I wrote like two and a half articles and I edited one and my space button button on my keyboard is not freaking working right it keeps like stuttering stuttering is that even how you would say it but it keeps like not working and it was pissing me off so much I feel like I misspelled half of those articles and I need to like it's gonna take me double the amount of time to edit them I'm so annoyed I don't know what's going on with it I was gonna go to the gym this morning and then I started editing a short form video because I thought that I had one ready for today but I didn't so I started immediately editing one uh I made a voiceover for it and the voiceover was just wrong it was like all wrong I had to redo it three or four times and it was just bugging the crap out of me it was taking forever and then I got really overwhelmed because I was like, all right, I'm so behind on all of my content. Like I'm so behind on everything and I'm so disorganized. Like I've been recording what I eat in a day videos every single day. So I know that I have them, but where are they? Like, I don't know if I'm just not going into my cap cut at the end of the night and not uploading all of them so that I stay organized or like what's going on. That's probably what it is. Basically, I'm just completely disorganized and I'm so frustrated. I have so many projects that I want to do and I have zero time to do any of them. And I just got so pissed off because by the time that I finished editing the short form video, it was like 7.40, I have a coaching call at 9 a.m. And I'm like, there's no way, like my workout will be trash if I go right now. So I'm on my second cup of coffee. I'm gonna make breakfast right now. And my coaching call is at nine. So I'm gonna eat, coaching call, edit right now, or like do some more computer work. Then after my coaching call, I'm gonna go do my second workout of the day, which is gonna be my long walk. And then I'm gonna come back home, edit, slash work and then i have work at 12 30 come back home after work which i should be done at like five probably and then go to the gym and do my pull day and then go to the ymca and do a sauna session because i haven't been to the sauna at all this week and i need it i need it for my mental health and just for my genuine like just phys physical health so i think that's what i'm gonna do also last night i had crazy crazy stomach cramping and i'm convinced that it's because of the dates i think that i have i don't even know what i was saying i got distracted with my phone oh i was talking about my stomach cramping so i think that i have like a sensitivity to freaking specific fruits because this is ridiculous last night i think i had three or four dates 
I don't know, but I've been having crazy stomach cramping over the last maybe like month or so and I have been having a lot of dates over the last month so I cut it back and I started to feel much better but last night I had like four, three to four in one sitting and I'm wondering if it's because that was too much in one sitting for, for me personally but I looked it up and it's uh, like I looked up like do dates make you bloated as a significant source of fructose they can lead to bloating and stomach and having an upstick, upset stomach after a large meal dates are high in fiber which takes longer to digest I didn't have like a super large dinner but I did have the dates and I had two yogurts then somebody asked why does my stomach get upset after eating dates? And it's said that they're high in fiber and contain a number of vitamins and minerals and even a trace of protein. But for some, they may cause trouble like gas, bloating, or stomach pain due to added preservatives in their high fiber content. Okay, so basically, I think that maybe, maybe potentially, they just have too much fiber for me personally because I eat fruit. I eat bananas and I eat berries very regularly and I'm always totally fine. I've noticed that I'm... I have like a sensitivity to papaya because I get crazy bloating, the similar bloating from papaya that I do with dates. And I know that papaya has digestive enzymes that some people are very sensitive to. So I think that I'm sensitive to the papaya and now I think that I'm sensitive to dates. Now, dates are my favorite thing on the planet. I love, love, love dates. Will I stop eating them? Never. But now I know that having like, cause I've had one before a workout, one before a walk, one or two, like a couple before, and I felt totally fine, but maybe the combination of pro having a lot of protein plus the dates, not a good combo for me. But anyways, I went to, my point is I went to bed with really bad stomach pain and cramping and my digestion is completely thrown off now. <laughs> TMI, but it is. And so I'm just like not feeling myself today and I'm very annoyed by that. So I think that taking it easy is a little bit better for me today and just going to work out in the evening will be better because hopefully this walk will help move things along. I also made some tea. I'm having, this is the roasted dandelion tea. I look like a mess. My life is a mess right now. I'm just, everything's a mess today, but it's gonna be a great day. We're gonna have a wonderful day. I'm excited to just like, kind of like, get through it. Let's make breakfast. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs and my smoothie. But today I'm gonna make kind of like a different smoothie. Usually I do unflavored protein, collagen, yogurt, and berries. But today I'm gonna do my Siggy's vanilla um, kefir, which is like the drinkable yogurt. Berries, vanilla protein, collagen. I just want like something vanilla-y for some reason. And I'm gonna add cinnamon. Also, I have no idea why, but like last night I ended up going to bed with that. Well, actually, no, I do know why. I went to bed last night without doing the dishes because I had cleaned out the dishwasher and like loaded it and I didn't wanna unload it to reload it twice in one day. So I was being lazy and we don't like that. We don't, that's not who we are. So I'm not gonna do that anymore is my point. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, coconut water, coconut water, a vinosidil, we're gonna do a teaspoon of Ceylon, like a little, yeah, about a teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. I think I put way too much coconut water because I'm also doing the drinkable yogurt. So that was kind of dumb. Don't be like me. We're gonna do, let's do the banana and berries first. Berries. A serving of berries. Protein and collagen. I'm gonna do a serving and a half. Of no. Uh. Okay, vanilla protein. Now we're gonna do Siggy's. My camera's about to die. All right, I'm gonna have my smoothie first since the eggs are clearly not done. Let's try this. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. The cinnamon and vanilla go so well. 
This is so good. Honestly, this just cheered me up. Okay, I just finished up my coaching call and I'm gonna go on my walk. Get that out of the way right now. It's 10, it's 10 o'clock right now. So we're gonna go get this done. The weather's gorgeous and I'm so happy, but I wanted to show you my cute little outfit. This has become like one of my casual and cute walking outfits, um, but it's just this set that I got from Aritzia. I actually got it like a year ago. They're just like boot cut pants. I'm wearing just some sneakers, denim jacket. This denim jacket is like my favorite purchase of 2023. I kid you not. But anyways, gonna go on my walk, gonna listen to a podcast, and then I'll see you after. All right, I just came home from my walk and I am about to make my coconut lemon loaf to bring over to work. Hello. It's so I'm back from work. It's six and it was slow today. It was very slow, unfortunately. Um, I'm about to have a snack and then I have to go to the gym for a pull day. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough, but we're gonna pull through. So, I was like seven minutes late to work because my lemon loaf, I thought it was gonna be ready in time, but I ended up having to stay a little bit later to get it done because I was like, there's no way that I'm get, like, that I spent all this time and wasted all of these ingredients and I'm not gonna just, I'm not gonna just like leave without taking the loaf with me. So I ended up waiting and I took it out of the oven at 1228 and it was still not complete. Like it still needed a couple of more minutes to like brown and stuff, but it still tasted really good. Uh, I quickly glazed it and then literally ran to work. Everybody loved it, so I'm happy about that. I just caught a couple of Amazon packages. I got some cast castor oil because I think I threw mine out and I want it for my eyebrows. And then I got some USB chargers for the car for my phone. Yeah, that's that. We're gonna go work out. I'm hoping that the gym is not busy. I'm going to bring my sauna stuff with me. And if I'm not completely dead, like, by the end of my workout, then I'm going to go to the sauna as well. I'm going to cut this watermelon to have a couple slices. Watermelon is, like, the perfect pre-workout. And you don't want to take pre-workout. But I actually, like, my coworker brought me a coffee at about 3-ish. So I had a nitro cold brew. Honestly, I was so tired. Like, I was unbelievably it was ridiculous how tired I was. I was like, I felt like I was gonna pass out at work because I just kept yawning. Mm. Mm. That's good. Tomorrow, I have a coaching call at 7 a.m. So, I'm gonna wake up early, get some work done, do my coaching call, and then right after that, I'm gonna go to the gym because I work at 12. I just finished up at Gold's. Had a pretty decent workout for how tired and how late it is, or how tired I am and how late it is. But I just got to the YMCA. I'm about to do the sauna or go into the sauna, 30 minutes, and then we are going home. I'm so tired. I just came home from the gym and the sauna. I'm not even cleaning even though I said yesterday that I was not gonna do that I'm going to make my aminos and go shower realize they want you scared to ask what matters most and if you don't go out 
who have built the things that you want to build, who have become the kinds of people face. They all had that, and guess what happened? They did fall on their face, and everybody did laugh at them. But every single time they fucking fell, they got back up. The truth. And in fact, it's the best way of speaking the truth because people get way less real shit, dude. You see what I'm saying? Like we act anything. Says that most people think they're safe. Anything to avoid accountability. Anything. Anything. Hurting that the people who we trusted. And pe people, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh my God, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, yeah. And this is better for you than alcohol. Good morning. It's 4.55. But, but, I woke up at 4.40. I was just laying in bed this whole time. I woke up to two text messages from my coworkers. One of them asking me to pick up his Sunday shift and one of them asking for me to swap their Thursday night closing with my Thursday opening shift. So I jumped at the opportunity. More money is more money. So I'm pretty happy. It's a pretty good, it's Friday. I thought it was Thursday. That's so funny. I'm pretty happy. It's a good start to the day, but anyways. Let's get ready for the day. with me I'm just going to the sauna after the gym because I work at 12 I have to do my second cardio session of the week today because I I won't have time to do it tomorrow or Sunday so I'm just gonna do it today and we'll save the sauna for potentially this evening if I have time I wrote out I have like I have such a chaotic organization thing and I feel like I need to figure out how to organize my life better but I basically have a little planner that I've been like writing stuff in but it really bothers me because it's so tiny and I'm like I should just get a bigger one but this one was expensive <laughs> anyways I like write down like the major things of the day on here and then I've been writing things out in this like journal that I got of things that need to get accomplished need to get done I have like a YouTube planner and then I have my study journal for just like I don't know i just have a bunch of like journals that i write all of the stuff that i'm supposed to do in but anyways my point is is that i wrote a list of things that i need to do and it's very lengthy i wrote like well am i okay i wrote a to do before the end of the week plan and i feel like we did a decent amount of work over the last 24 hours so i'm feeling pretty good about that this morning i worked on my project and i basically created 
an offer to send out to people who want to join my six week fat loss transformation challenge so i'm going to be creating a program for individuals for that and i basically set it all up today and now i'm just talking to my mentor and having him kind of like review it make sure everything looks good and checks out and things of that nature but it took me a while to complete that that was like a lengthy experience and then on this journal that i was mentioning i wrote out all of the things that i want to include within that program so i'm gonna have two different meal plans i'm gonna create a macro and micronutrient tracker i'm going to have a protein recipe ebook i'm gonna have a client questionnaire i'm gonna have a lifestyle guide there's just like a bunch of like little things that i really really want to include within the program that i feel are going to be valuable for anybody who wants to join it and anybody who wants to train with me because i just feel like these are all of the things that i wish i would have had for myself throughout my like fat loss journey like if i had had those i feel like my life would have been so much easier so basically i'm just like putting myself into my own shoes from a couple of years ago and asking myself okay like what would i have wanted what 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 resources would have helped me what would have made this process more sustainable more enjoyable uh easier to like get through mentally physically etc so that's kind of like where my mind is at but yeah i feel really good that i completed the offer now i'm just having him like i said provide feedback for me um and i think i'm going to start creating the meal plans today i also need to edit a youtube video i just posted a short my youtube channel on my tiktok and that instagram reel and yeah now it's time for us to go to the gym and get a good workout in and i'm honestly really excited to work out and i can't wait to do cardio because i'm gonna read my kindle and i am so excited i've been reading my kindle on my phone lately because my kindle is in my gym bag i don't know why but i'm too lazy to get my kindle out of my gym bag at home because i'm always worried that i'm gonna forget my kindle at home if i take it out i need to get two kindles clearly but anyways let's go work out also wearing a cute little workout outfit today low rise leggings these are from aritzia i love them and this top this is like my favorite top from amazon it's so flattering makes my boobs look good let's go work out it's a beautiful sunny day i'm feeling so so good except my eyes are dry because i wore my contacts into the sauna yesterday i was wondering what was bothering my my eyes they felt like a little heavy and it's the they're dry so i'm gonna put some eye drops in I just got done at the gym. I did not get a chance to do my cardio. So that means I'll probably have to skip out on the sauna tonight and go to the home gym for my cardio because I still need to do my walk later today. And it's 11.30 and I work in 30 minutes. So we have to rush home right now, rinse off, and get our butts to work. I cannot wait for the day that I like wake up and train people. I mean, I know like I'm sure I'm sure that is going to have its own issue, not issues, but like I'm sure it's it's not going to be as easy as as I'm making it out to be, but I genuinely can't wait for the day that I'm like I don't have to like I can just rely on making money off of what I genuinely love doing, which is wellness and fitness and health. It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day. Let's go. Hello, I just came back from work. I put my workout clothes back on, my workout clothing from this morning back on. Sorry if you think that's gross, but I didn't really sweat that much because I didn't do cardio. Damn, and I had the sermon illustration. And I need to go do cardio right now. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I stopped by Trader Joe's on my way home and I picked up a couple of waters and I really wanted to get these bars. I don't know what it is, but the the specific these specific this specific creamy crisp flavor is my latest fixation. These are so good. They have like this like caramelly date sauce on them or something, cream on them. I don't know what it is, but so, so good. So stocked up. I also got a couple of apples. I got one Envy apple and I got two 
Fuji apples. They look, this one looks, this looks so good. Yeah, and then I wanted some crunchy almond butter, so I picked that up. I got two bags of frozen berries. These are my absolute favorites. You can never have too many frozen berries. Two bone broths. I got avocados and lemons. And what else did I get? I got a health shot that we'll take right now. I got some chopsticks and this. I'm very excited to try this. I personally have never seen it before. Comment down below if you have. But the serving size, two patties, 13 grams of protein. I figured this would be a great breakfast. The ingredients are great. Chicken, sea salt, vinegar powder, dried sage leaves, parsley, thyme, chili flakes, crushed red pepper, black pepper, grown clove, and rosemary. So in the air fryer with some scrambled eggs, it's gonna be so good. Let's take this health shot together. Also, I'm gonna take my vitamins because I have not been taking them consistently. <sighs> and yeah, I'm gonna go to the home gym, get my 30 minutes of stairs out of the way. I have to go on my walk as well. I figured I could either sauna or do cardio, but honestly, it's very cold outside. Despite it being so sunny, it's very cold. And I just don't feel like being in the cold, being in the heat and then being in the cold like that. I guess I could drive. I'm just being lazy. I just want to get it. I just want to get my cardio done. Anyways, enough chit chatter. Let's go to the gym. Let's drink this first though. Cheers. Wait, I'm recording a what I eat in a day video. As always, forgetting this. Forgetting this. Cheers. Okay, just at the 30 minutes. I'm tired. I just watched YouTube the whole time. I'm gonna stretch for a little bit. All right, everything is done. I went on my walk, I did my cardio, I went to Target. Did I need to go to Target? Uh, yeah, actually I did. I got this little scrubby scrubber because I really want to like do a deep clean of my bathtub. And then listen, I was dying outside. I thought I was gonna legitimately die. It was so cold. So I got another one of these little health shots. This one is ginger and lemon. You know, you can never be, you can never be too safe or too careful. You get what I mean. Cheers. If you can hear the water running, it's because I'm running myself a bath. Like, I legitimately am worried because of how freezing it was. Umpqua to the rescue as always. I will do anything for preventative purposes. Measures. Okay. So, I got some gum because I needed that. I've been eyeing this for the last couple of times that I've gone to Target. I love vitamin water. I mean, it doesn't have like the best for you ingredients, but it's just so delicious. And with love, raspberry dark chocolate, that sounds lovely. Like that sounds genuinely lovely. That tastes delicious. I actually taste the chocolate. It's probably not very good for you. I don't know. It, some, I don't even want to read the ingredients. This is delicious. I need to put that in the fridge though. And then I got one of these because I've been really craving this flavor. And then I got, okay, so I have been experiencing a little bit of acne on my shoulders because I did buy a new product that I don't think my skin likes. So I decided that I, this is what cleared my acne on my back many years ago and I would always use this whenever I would get acne on my back. I find that I am somebody who does not always shower right after the gym, especially if I like do cardio like, and I go somewhere like I'll go to a coffee shop or I'll go to the grocery store. My skin is so sensitive that if I literally don't take my clothes off like 
the second that I'm done with my workout, I will break out. So I do have like a better for you body wash in my shower that I use regularly that I got from Whole Foods as great ingredients. But I figured I'd pick this up for emergency purposes because I don't want to have acne on my back or my shoulders or anything. So this really works for me. It's, I think it's the salicylic acid, but it's something else about, about it. And then... Last but not least, I just got some pajama pants because I love these. These are so nice. They have like the sh I have like the shorts version of these sets, and I love them. And I have these, but in like a light baby blue, and they're just so comfy and so nice and so flattering. And I was like, I might as well. They have my size, so I'm gonna get very excited. I'm gonna take a bath right now. I have my dinner going, but I'm gonna take a bath. And then I'm gonna wear these and I'm very excited. And we're gonna edit videos and be productive all night. And I'm gonna read my Kindle in the shower, in the bed, or not in the bed, in the in the bathtub. And I'm going to like light a candle. I'm gonna do a face mask. And I'm going to put like some Epsom salt in the shower. It's gonna be so nice. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'm gonna save it for tomorrow for my workout. I'm going to treat myself to one of these poppies i've been like saving them because they're limited edition but they're so delicious and i just feel like it's friday night i need to have one time management method based on 25 minutes stretches that's holding you back with your energy you're mapping out your schedule are you taking into account and sudden there's a bit of give and take there and so the same works for your mind. the tips I'm sharing today are tips that will help you be remember 52 minutes okay my bath was very rejuvenating um i'm gonna try to do this really quickly because this camera is about to die excuse the hair but i'm about to do my little skincare i'm just gonna add moisturizer and then i'm gonna do a little bit of self tanner and this one by dr dennis gross is amazing this is the nightly combo for tonight feels so um clean and like self-cared is that even a word like what am i even saying uh but i just like put lotion moist or moisturizer all over my body i've got my little new jammies on that are so soft and so comfy i put self tanner on moisturized vacuum vacuumed a little bit cleaned up the bathroom tidied up around the kitchen i just need to do the dishes i thought that the dishwasher was clean but it's actually dirty so i need to run it i'm about to take my nightly well this is not nightly i take these b vitamins um with my like carb heavier meals for carb for carb metabolization purposes and for energy and i take my magnesium Whoa. For elimination purposes. I think tonight I'm going to have my... Actually, no. 100% I'm going to have my magnesium glycinate drink. I did have caffeine pretty late. And I'm going to have my sleepy drink from Keon. Drink some coconut water. I need to make sure that I have incredible sleep tonight. Because tomorrow... It's gonna be a busy day. Tomorrow I'm working at 10, so I'm gonna open. I'm gonna wake up early and go to the gym, <sighs> go to a coffee shop. I feel like every Saturday I've been waking up and going to the gym and then getting a coffee at Blue Bottle. Well, I've been doing this for the last two or three weekends, I think, and it's become so, like, I look forward to it. I'm so, um, it's just like part of my like little ritual now and I love it. So I'm not going to skip out on that. I'm going to do that even though I open at 10 instead of 11. Or I work at 10 instead of 11. i um, going to go on a little walk after I get my coffee. Listen to a podcast. Like that is just like I'm 
I'm so 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 excited to do that so I just want to make sure that I'm like in a good mood because today I feel like I was kind of down because I was so tired for some reason yeah I just want to make sure I get a good night of sleep and whatnot and then I also would love to wake up and meditate tomorrow because I feel like I did not meditate at all this week it was a very very productive week I'm very proud of how much I worked first off in terms of like my working at the restaurant but also just in general with everything else I feel like I was very productive I would love for the following week to be even more so productive in the sense of being more efficient with everything and I can't believe it but like I'm on day 36 of 75 hard like I completed it today or it was day 37 and I'm feeling very proud yeah I'm very excited about tomorrow I'm gonna end this vlog here I'll show you like my evening and whatnot but I'm gonna end this vlog here so that I could start a new one tomorrow uh, I feel like this one's already really long so if you liked it please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in the next vlog. Don't click out yet. I'm going to show you my dinner and I'm going to show you everything that I do for the rest of the night. But I figured I would just say goodbye to right now at least. Um, I'm just going to watch a little bit of TV while I eat. I'm very happy. It's been a very good... It was a very, very good week. Definitely wish that I was having dinner a little bit earlier. But I did go... I did do a lot. I also really wish that I had gone to the sauna. But I literally... I couldn't I absolutely could not so next week I'm gonna make it a goal to go at least three times I'm just putting butter into my Japanese sweet potato I love when I like almost it's kind of like I think it's brown the Japanese sweet potato I think it's this color because I think that I over baked it now we're gonna do ketchup and um, some mustard on the side for my meatballs I think I'm slowly starting to get adjusted to this ketchup from Primal Kitchen because it is unsweetened and the other one I guess has a little bit of sugar but still not as good as the Trader Joe's one. The Trader Joe's one is my favorite. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat. This looks so good.